You have to be quiet. Mr. Robot and I are in the word problem crystal cave learning how to solve word problems. This part of the cave is dedicated to multiplication and division word problems. Come learn with us as we... Robot, shh! Uh-oh. Here comes a word problem we can take a look at. The problem says, if Sally bakes three rows of five cookies, then how many cookies did she bake? To solve this, you can draw the rows of cookies. We know we have three rows, so let's bring in three rows. We have three rows here we can put the cookies in. How many cookies does the problem say are in each row? There are five cookies in each row. Great job! You may have noticed that this is a multiplication problem. We have three rows with five cookies in each row. The multiplication problem is three times five equals blank, or what we do not know. We can now solve the problem in a couple of ways. We can count the cookies. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. She baked 15 cookies in all. Instead of counting each cookie, we could also use our multiplication skills to know that three times five equals 15. Awesome, let's look at another problem before I eat all these cookies. Robot. The new problem says, Sam is baking 12 cookies. He puts them in two rows. How many cookies are in each row? Before we jump in, let's not focus on if we are dividing or multiplying. We just want to first draw the problem. As you might have heard, the cookies got eaten from the first problem. Thanks, Mr. Robot. We don't need the cookies to draw this, though. We can just use tally marks. We know there are 12 cookies in all, and they are divided into two rows. So let's draw the two rows where the tally marks go. We are now going to put a tally mark in each row as we count to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have placed 12 tally marks in the two rows. How many are in each row? There are six tally marks. Great job! We solved the problem by just using the drawing. Let's write the equation that goes along with it. We started with 12 cookies and we essentially divided them into two. Our equation is 12 cookies divided by two equals six. Great job, guys! That was amazing! The new problem says if there are nine teams with nine players on each team, then how many players are there? We could start by making tally marks to help us solve this problem. We have nine teams, and each team has nine players. We basically have nine groups, and we'll put nine tally marks in each box. Then we will count them all to see how many players there are. Wait a minute. This drawing will definitely work, but it will take me forever. So let's look at the equation for this problem. We have nine groups of nine. Do you think we are multiplying or dividing? We are multiplying, great job. We now have our equation of nine times nine equals blank. Using your multiplication skills, what is nine times nine? The answer is 81. There are nine teams with nine players on each team and the total amount of players is 81. Awesome job. That was not an easy one, but we did it. Don't worry guys, it will take some time, but we will get out eventually. Hey, Mr. Robot, I could sure use your help. Please? Hey guys, you have a few options here. If you want to subscribe, click the red button below. If you want to watch more awesome stuff, you can click the video on my right or on my left. If you want to check out our awesome new math game called Mage Math, click the link below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose. Uh-oh. What?